Hey, everybody, it's the coach. This is Thursday Night Football on EA Sports. We are moments away from kickoff, and we've got a good one on tap between the Carolina Panthers and the San Francisco 49ers. I'll see you again at halftime as we preview some of the action coming up on Sunday. But for now, it's Thursday Night Football. And on the call, as always, it's Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the so-called Silicon Valley and Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Carolina Panthers and the San Francisco 49ers. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at these 49ers as they interplay here. They come in losers of two straight, so they're trying to right the ship here a little bit. They're teetering a little bit, aren't they? And now things could really go south if they lose this game, so they understand the importance of playing well and stopping this streak. On the other side of the field for the visiting Panthers, they come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. It's the final three weeks of the season. Still plenty to play for here as we're underway in week 15. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. And out will come the leader of this offense, and that, of course, is their signal caller. And what I enjoyed in preparing for this game was talking not just with the coaching staff, but with him as well. And I found it interesting that the coaching staff sees him one way and he sees himself an entirely different way. Yeah, one thing he said he's always working on, he's, we know he's not bad at this, but his footwork always wants to improve that and that's something he's going to focus on here. And what was so funny, what did the offensive coordinator say right off the top? He's got great footwork. Love his footwork. So this guy is never satisfied. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. gun absolutely nobody fooled there he's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage he'll wind up losing a yard on the play and that's going to lead to a third and 11. anytime you call an inside running play you just know there should be a lot of congestion there you're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage that didn't happen in this case and that play got bottled up he's going to sling this deep downfield and that will be incomplete well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Pilardi now on to punt as he sends this one away. 12 yards on the return that time. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. So here are the Niners now to get their first drive. And leading them, Charles, their quarterback, their field general. I read something prepping for this game that he said prior to, and I think he really said it a few months ago, where he talked about he wants to have the type of season that at the end, he's buying gifts for all the guys who helped him along the way. And I know that the team wants to hold him to that and really get into his wallet. But that's what good leadership gives you. You know, at the end of the season, because you've done a great job, QB, he's usually the guy who springs for the good stuff. Charles, Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook. Pick out the plays that work best for you. And you know what else you're looking for? What's that? Who are the freshest guys coming off the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. 
Once again, they run with Breda on first down. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. And the starting crew now for San Francisco. And this certainly doesn't seem like an ideal situation for them because they're coming in on a losing streak and they get the quick turnaround right here to Thursday night. But maybe that's for the best. Get right back on the horse and go at it again and not dwell on the losing that they've had in recent weeks. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. On first down, here's Breida. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. Now we've got whistles and a timeout here. Yeah, it looks like we've got a 49er that's down on the field. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They'll run it now out of the gun. Sharp there with his feet, gets him a little extra space, and then drop just inside the 20. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. He'll drop to throw. Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. The linebacker Preston Brown there to knock that one away. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Fairbairn able to put this one through. And the 49ers take a 3-0 lead. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. This. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. You know, in our research packet this week, prepping for the game, so many articles from the local beat writer about the offensive struggles of this team and what will they do this offseason? What do you think they'll do? Well, number one, they'll turn to their self-scouting report. And every team that's any good does this. They have outside groups, check out their team, scout them, and tell you who can play, who can't play, and reasons why. Some of it may just be health. They have to get some guys healthy and back out on the field. But overall, evaluate this squad and make the changes that you need to. Let's meet the starting 11 on defense for San Francisco. They're going to need to be strong against the run in this one. And stopping the run, that's been an issue for them all season long. Aren't you glad that you're not coaching the defense right now? <laughs> I'm very glad. They said that they've seen it in doses, but very, very small doses. Yeah, you've got to be consistent. It's down in and down out, being able to play it, understand what you have to get done, and finally stop some people, put them on the ground. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities. But that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time. Yeah, first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. A big kick, 50 yards that time with a return of four. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Here we go, here we go, here we go. They'll run on first down. McClellan. And the ball is knocked out. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around, and we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. Carolina getting set to take the field. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, 
Everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up the first down and change our momentum? That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing, often all nowhere to escape, and he goes down. DeForest Buckner make that now eight sacks for him on the season. Well, let's see here, Charles. He was sacked six times last week. Now a first quarter sack. What's going on in his mind? Well, he's thinking to himself, five offensive linemen. I got sacked six times last week. Let's start thinking about keeping extra people in. Tight end stays in. If I have a fullback or the running back, they stay in and help me block. Maybe not as many receivers in a pattern. Anything to try and slow down that pass rush. On first down, McClellan. He'll take this from the 40 up to the 45 for a gain of five. On second down, McClellan. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and that'll make this a second and 13. Second and 13. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and just like that, it's third down. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted, but I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yep. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Mm -hmm. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. They'll run on first down. It's Hubbard. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. The numbers for him from a week ago, 13 carries, 52 yards. And now that he's playing a Thursday night game short week, you know he spent a lot of time in the trainer's room in the cold tub trying to get his legs back for this game. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. On first down. Hubbard, and he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Here's a second and seven. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Got his target, Samuel. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 42. 
Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. That time, the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, you can't hold him. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. So now they operate back from their side of the field here, second and long. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags, and I believe this is going to be a first down. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. And he'll give it here to his running back. As he's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. That's going to set him back five yards. They were looking good on second down, but now they're backed up five yards by the false start. And it's second and eight. Now back to throw. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. They'll look to throw here. And the throw there going to be incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, on, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. The San Francisco right offense ready to start their next drive. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. On second down now, McClellan. And he loses the football a second time. So that one will be accepted. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, 49ers. Dante Pettis, 79 yards. And the 49ers are able to strike quickly for six. Charles, there aren't really any slow receivers, but there's fast and then really fast. He's really fast, and he showed off the afterburners there. And that he is because when he took off, I was thinking there is no chance that he can actually reach him with that pass. Yet he did, and he's still sprinting. And just think about what that does for everyone else on his team because his ability to stretch a field opens things up for the rest of the receivers on the team. Kaimi Fairbairn on for the extra point. And he's got it to make it now 13 to nothing. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's had a good chunk of carries. Problem is for very little success. I don't want to put it all on his shoulders, but that's a big reason they're losing right now. 
Have to be very careful that he doesn't start pointing fingers. Offensive Ready, line obviously trying. The defense is doing a nice job against him today. When it's all said and done, it's all about the guy in the mirror. He has to get it done better going forward. See if he can look and do some soul searching now. That's going to be caught by Samuel. The offense on third down tonight, just one for five to this point. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And that'll be incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Five. On second down, it's Pollard. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. The Panthers on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and seven. They're going to look to throw. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 36. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Nick Bosa. Able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. The Panthers on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third down and 12. He'll look to throw. Short throw underneath to Hurst. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, big man with football. <laughs> Look out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You're talking about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. Now he'll let this one go deep, right sideline. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. On second down, McClellan. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that one looked pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. The throw over the middle taken in, and they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. 13 yards there and a nighter first. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. They'll run on first down. McClellan. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Now it's the fullback. This is Kyle Juszczyk. He will push his way down to about the 14. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. They'll drop the throw. Now they go screen, it's complete. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Only two on the screen pass there, and it'll be fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, they've still been able to come away with points due to his leg. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. 
Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. Now they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He sets to fire deep. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Carolina. A big play there with touchdown number seven on the year as they are now on the board here in the first half. Maybe that is the boost that this offense needed. They've done nothing the entire half, but out of the blue comes this big shot here. You're exactly right. Like a dunk in basketball, like a home run in baseball, maybe a solo shot. Sometimes you need that big play to get things ignited. Dustin Hopkins on now to add the extra point. It's good, and that cuts it to nine at 16-7. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And Carolina scores to cap it off. So the lead is now dwindled to nine as the kick here is away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. They'll run it now with Hughes check. Seven yards on the carry. Make it third and four coming up. The Niners on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and four. They got a man. It's Woods. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It'll go as a first down for San Francisco on a pickup of 16. This quarterback now 8 of 11 in this first half. He's got it first and 10. They'll set up a throw. And he'll find his target. Woods, it's complete. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Going to give this time to the tailback. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Now the fullback, use check. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. On play action, they'll throw. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. This is caught. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. The Niners passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. 
A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. A great play there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. And nothing special there. They show they were going to run the football. They ran it. They got it in. Like old-time football, right? Hey, this is exactly what we're going to do. Straight ahead power, and they got it done. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And that could be important as that makes this a 16-point lead. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Back to throw here. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. This quarterback now 9 of 16 through the air as he's got it first and 10. He'll look to throw. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Back to throw now on second and 10. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. And he's going to go down again. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Michael Pilardi now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Now. They'll throw now on the final play. That's complete to his receiver, Pettis. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. We, got this. we have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Man, where has the season gone? We're into week 15 now. So let's give everybody a look at what's coming up here on what should be a very interesting weekend of football. Plenty of good games to choose from in that early window. We'll highlight the one down in Tampa, a big test for the Bucks at home, as they'll be forced to reckon with the Atlanta Falcons. More good stuff later in the afternoon, one being down in the desert, where it'll be the Cardinals at home in Glendale, taking on the Seattle Seahawks. And lastly, in the national game on Sunday night, Definitely one to tune in for, as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Cleveland Browns. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it 
first to begin this third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. He'll drop to throw. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. This quarterback now, 14 out of 17, 82%. And it's first and 10. Here's a quick hitch route, and the throw complete. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. And he'll give it here to his running back. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. A good chance this is four-down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. They'll look to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it, but it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Open man is Samuel, complete. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made. And that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Looking to throw. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Well, we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong, you know, back and forth like that? That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? The first down run, not going to get them a whole lot. Maybe a yard. Yeah, it looks like just one yard there. So that'll bring up second and nine. Second and nine now. This one caught by his tight end, Oliver. And he's taken down, but able to get this up to the 20-yard line. 13 yards there and a Niner first. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Set. 60 or. They'll look to throw here on first down. And Woods has it complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A very solid gain of 27. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 down at the 33. They'll set up to throw. And a loose football. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. 
Here he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. How do you break down his game so far? Just the one touchdown pass, but sometimes the touchdown pass stat category, that doesn't tell the whole story. It really doesn't, not until you balance it with the error side. You know, and in this case, he hasn't thrown any interceptions. So a lot of people would call this almost a pedestrian game, kind of a bus driver game. But that's just really wrong. Being a bus driver is a good thing if you're running a football team because that means you're in control and you're taking your team to the right places. Yeah, he's been pretty solid. On first down, Pollard. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. DeForest Buckner in on the tackle. Going to run again here with Pollard. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Now whistles here, and it looks like we've got a Panther that's having some difficulty down there getting up. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Watch the run, watch the run. Now back to throw. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. On, and all the Let's way go. inside the 15 before they drop him. 23 yards on the play. This quarterback now, check, 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 five check. straight completions here in this second half, first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. So now then the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Back to throw. And this is going to be intercepted. Snags it for the pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Wow, so wipe out the INT roughing the passer. What a disaster. An absolute disaster, and you hope their lockers are not right next to each other for the postgame. Safe to say one is not buying the other down. And the Niners get there and bring him down. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He lost two there, and it's third down. So third and goal, and the 49er faithful making some noise for their defense. He'll look to throw. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively brings up fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant you the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. The bottom line, tremendous starting field position really squandered there as they wind up going backwards and then come up with just three. Well, getting the three turned out to be important. I can imagine the head coach when he ordered the Let's field go, goal, boys, please salvage something out of this drive. That was not fun to watch. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading on to the field again. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone, and now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And, of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage, and again, that second score here in the third quarter. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A big play on the catch and run, covering 34 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it, and the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. Well, this D, particularly the secondary, has been picked apart at points here tonight. They finally, though, get to the quarterback, get a pick. And we know this about him. He loves night games, loves the spotlight, loves being the center of attention. I will bet you that he ran off the field almost chuckling to himself. They finally got one. They finally got me. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. And after a sluggish start, he's really bounced back. The numbers bear that out. 
And you're a baseball guy, partner. How many at-bats over the course of a baseball season? Oh, boy. Four about in a three, game. Yeah, about the four in a four game. Four times 162. 350 or so, right? Sometimes it takes a while for a guy to get going. That's my point. It's not the first few carries. You don't worry about that. As they go along, get that guy lathered up. Get those blocking assignments down. Those two-yard gains turn into bigger gains as the game moves along. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. I can't believe they let you play. I can't believe they even let you play. Ready, ready. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Hubbard. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they're left with a third and eight. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. They're going to look to throw. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and that'll bring up fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. They'll run on first down. McClellan. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Second and two. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. They'll drop the throw. And he comes back with one complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now a handoff here to his running back. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Ten Tucson. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And he's got the hook up here. It's Woods. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers 40. And defensively, they just don't seem to have much of an answer for this passing game. Not at all. Look at the confidence that's exhibited here with that type of a lead. Clock on their side. Instead of running it, they're still throwing it, trying to pick up first downs and keeping the football. And he's going to get this inside the 30. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down 49ers. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Second and three. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in the second half. Instead, it's third down. On third down, McClellan. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of sea ball, get ball. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And that will swell the lead to 16. So they settle for just the three. But clearly right now, anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off. But they still ate up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. And onto the field, here come the Panthers. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. Second and 10. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. 
They'll set up a throw. He's going to look deep for more. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. There's Dante Pettis as his guys head back out onto the field. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Looking to complete it to Pettis, and he's got him. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. On second down now, McClellan. Still on his feet. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 23 yards the pick up there. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 down at the 31. They'll look to throw here. Gets this one to use check. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Umpire through the flag usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 23 yards, the final tally. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that is caught, but the back judge right there to say incomplete. Looking again in the direction of Woods, and that'll bring up second down. He'll look to throw, and he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. He'll drop to throw. Going to throw right side here, complete. And they'll hustle up to stop him well shy of the first, right around the 15. So apparently some grabbing of the jersey there on the O-line. Yeah, just look in the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. Now Kaimi Fairbairn for the field goal try. This to make it a three-score game late. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And that will make this now a 19-point advantage. So yet another field goal to end a drive. That has been a very common theme. He's now hit five of them in this game. Yeah, Brandon, as an offense, you hate that you've had to call on your kicker so often, but you have to love the fact that time and time again, he's come through. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut it, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, some, hey, listen, there's, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. 
They'll look to throw. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Back to throw here. He'll hit Jackson complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 38-yard line. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Give him 18. It's a Carolina first down. Set, ready? 10-2, Come on. Let's go, heavy. Let's go, heavy. Heavy, what you got? What you got, heavy? Five. On first down, Hubbard. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Panthers are able to cut into this lead. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit. But for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. Now it's Hopkins to add the extra point. And they're able to cut the deficit to 12. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And to cap it off, a touchdown run of 20 yards. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the eight. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. The Niners on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. Here it's third and two. And he loses the football a second time. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Partner, that one looked like it was over. I mean, they had control, had the football, and the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And now that door ajar, two-score game, so hold on here, not done in the fourth. Carolina getting set to take the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go-around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hubbard. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. Looking to throw. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. 
On first down, he'll drop to throw. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. Back to throw now on second and 10. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. On third down, it's Hubbard, and he'll be tackled right on the 10, well short of the first down. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. Again, the offense will stay out there. They've converted once on this drive. What can they do here on fourth down? Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the 49ers are going to get the football back. Well, they had to take one final shot at the end zone, but now things are looking really bleak. And I agree with that totally. You had to take the shot if they did score. You know, whether you call it a miracle or not, you line up, onside kick, get the ball back, throw one more in the end zone, who knows? Had to take the chance, it just was unsuccessful. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Got three, got three, three down, three down. Ready, That one looks like he'll throw here, fighting to stay upright. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back at the two. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Check, 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 check. Joker, 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 joker. Shoot. And he'll give it here to his running back. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Here's Jackson. 62 yards on the punt that time, wow. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. So now the Panthers down on the scoreboard. A little over a minute and a half remaining. Field goals useless at this point. They need two touchdowns, and they need them in short order. The first play of the drive there is incomplete. So line of scrimmage still at 39 on second and 10. Now back to throw. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Back to throw. He's going to let it fly. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on fourth. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about Slim and none? Well, Slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, yeah, exactly right. One final kneel down here, and that should just about do it. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Hey, alert three, alert three. So the victory here for San Francisco, and you've got to say, CD, it was the defense who had a big part in the W. Oh, without question, when you force four turnovers, you get to enjoy the spoils of victory, don't you? It's rare that you force four turnovers and lose a ball game. That's almost unheard of. They carried this one home. He talked about celebrating with each other and being in a position where going forward, all you think about is, let's get five next time. They're going to be on the hunt. So for San Francisco, the win gets them to 5-9 and nine now on the year. And they'll get another home date next week as the Eagles will come to town. Meanwhile, for Carolina, the season is really nosediving now as they fall to 2-12. and 12. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.
Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.